Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back with another unboxing hands-on review. Today we have an elephone smartphone, a rugged elephone smartphone called Soldier. Yes ninjas, uh, let me just show you the price tag, you can get it on gearbest.com. Uh, only $190, which makes it one of the most interesting rugged smartphones right now, with probably a con, a con it is older operating system Android 8 Oreo ninjas. Unfortunately, it has Android 8, I don't know will they release Android 9 Pi. So don't uh, t basically take this with salt uh, with a pinch of salt. I don't think they're gonna re release, man. So that's that's gonna probably be the con of this device. But again, 190 dollars. It's a really great. Uh, it's a really great uh, price for this device. Anyway, so let's see here. What do we have in the box? Check it out. Supplier name, unit. Okay, got it, got it. What do we have else? We have all the specs here. B18. 3439 B13720, so it's usable in EU and in some operators in USA ninjas. Check it out. What was interesting about this rugged smartphone, it has a 2K screen ninjas. Let's see what do we have in the box. Here we go, we have a charger which is a fast charging support, 9 volts equal 2 amperes current or 5 volts equal 2 amperes, you can see by itself, output, European one. And we get also here a mic. Uh, type, uh, micro USB cable, micro USB cable from Elephone, and plus also the SIM tray, a uh, SIM tray pen. I'm gonna leave that on the side, and that's it, ninjas. That's it, simple, and uh, basically no additional gadgets or so. Just again, just find this is a rugged smartphone. Let's see that on the side. Here we go. Let's put our hands on this uh, rugged device, which is very interesting. This is for the constructors, for the truck uh, drivers, for people who are working a lot outdoors. This is it, Ninja. It's very interesting and so many diff so many things on this device, Ninja. This doesn't look uh, as a smartphone at all. It just looks something like uh, a different piece of tech, in my opinion. It has also a physical compass. Check it out, bro. How crazy this is. The nice touch, I have to admit, this is a nice touch. So this is a very interesting, probably the most interesting rugged smartphone that I reviewed in the past one year. So what do we have here regarding the thickness, the dimensions, the design and materials? 13 millimeter thick, this is 13 millimeter thick, 250 grams weighting, 16 with 9 aspect ratio. And we have here uh, some of it, a little bit of, uh, I think this polycarbonate rugged plastic with metal combination in just, yes, with metal combinations. We also have some soft uh, plastics, example SOS button, this is soft plastic. But it, this is also IP68 certified display. Uh, sorry for that, rugged smartphone, IP68 certified. Uh, outdoor tools, noise test, flashlight. So you can use the flashlight which is just over here, ninjas. But they also have something which is, I don't know what is this, I have to test it later on. Uh, let's go back. Hang painting, plum. Oh man, so many. So many great things, great sensors, pedometer is also here, magnifier, you can also use the magnifier. Let's see here. Oh, that is cool, bro, that is cool, flashlight. That is cool, switch, add this to switch on the front. Anyway, compass, gradient, protect, uh, protect, uh, protractor and noise test. Uh, anyway, let's go back. So this is, I don't like the UI, I would change it to maybe Poco phone, Poco launcher. I just don't like this launcher at all. Okay, ninjas. Here we go. So uh, I'm gonna stop here a little bit this video. Let's check here the regarding the buttons and what we have. Fingerprint sensor is on the side. Side fingerprint sensor, power button, volume rocker, uh, mini flashlight, which is uh, there. You go. <laughs> this is so cool, bro. So press it hard. Okay, I need to press it two seconds. Oh, that's dope. It has two flashlights over here and over here. That is cool. So why why would it, yeah that's probably this is a stronger flashlight or maybe it's a, a lighter flashlight to you know consume less battery who knows. On the left side we have a dual sim tray base uh, sim tray. We have what is this? I wonder what is this over here. I don't know what is this button over here. Just check it. Let's check it out. Anyway, I think this is like a for the camera shutter. I think so. Let's check here. Check the check. Oh, no, it's not. I need to figure out. Do I need to? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, okay. It's outdoor tool. It's outdoor tool, man. How I forgot that. Anyway, on the bottom, what do we have? On the bottom, we have a headphone jack, micro USB port, and microphone. Yeah, on the bottom. But they are covered, so you'll have to take this one easily, okay? And be careful, gentle. We have flesh on the top, and we have this small hinge where you can basically put a rope and, you know, put maybe around the belt or around your neck. Speaker is on the side. 
this main 20 megapixel camera a huge strong flashlight sos button which you just press press over here oh it looks what look what happens okay interesting <coughs> and we have a compass or down there so many great things and you can see yourself how how many uh, screws this device has so it can survive a lot of a lot of faults a lot of faults indeed and anyway, let's go now move to display what do we have regarding the display here we're going to just play this lg 4k demo video which is at 1080p 60 fps check it out beautiful so this is a 5.5 inch lcd ips display with the quad hd resolution 1440 with 2560 pixels screen density is 534 ppi so it's a very very high screen density but because it does have this quad hd display corning gorilla glass 3 protection capacitive screen multi-touch and it is without the notch it is without the notch again i would say the con that uh, for 2019 uh, the vessels are thick bro the vessels are thick on side vessels uh, so and so on that's it's okay it's kind of acceptable forgot to mention that we have earpiece on the front and front selfie camera with the sensors and also we have these capacitive keys which light up there you go you can see myself you see myself they light up ninjas they are capacitive keys i don't think you can enable virtual keys and who needs them this is just a 5.5 inch screen saying gist anyway let's move on okay back to the business ninjas so uh here x25 with this uh, rugged elephant soldier smartphone but something is very odd you will see you will see Anyway, by the specs, uh, Helio X25 Deca Core processor clocked at 2.5 GHz with ARM Mali T880 as a GPU. We have 4 gigs of RAM, just yes, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Yes, we get 128 gigs of storage. Uh, anyway, uh, something really interesting and odd I will just show you in a minute. Let's go now to the benchmarks. Let's find the benchmarks. Here we go, Ninjas. One up. Check it out. Helio X25 has only 55,000 score. This is the highest that I got, and i done it two times. So I don't get it, Ninjas. I had Helio X25 smartphones, and they had at least 90,000 uh, 90, uh, points. So I don't know what's happening with this uh, uh, Elephant Soldier. Regarding the single core performance on the Geekbench, that's absolutely correct. But multi -core, multi core score, not that correct, Ninjas. I don't know what is happening here. Uh, Vanzo Soldier, I just don't get it what's happening here. Honestly, we'll see. I will play some, play some games. You will see how what is the performance. But for now, this is very odd. Nevertheless, uh, this device um, has a Helio X25 uh, accelerometer. All the sensors, Ninjas. All the sensors that you have with the standard rugged smartphones. Even more than that. Uh, we're going to talk about the battery later on. So it has Android 8 Oreo. Uh, Android security patch is uh, one year old. Yes, exactly one year old. Which is really interesting. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, so it is uh, 4G LTE supported. You have uh, the bands. I think... Uh, there are a number of bands at the beginning but you do have b20 so it's completely usable in eu for the 4g lte uh, for the mobile data obviously dual band wi-fi and dual hotspot bluetooth 4.1 a gps glance and gps this device has an nfc support remember that it does have nfc support uh, we can go quickly here to the bluetooth cast nfc printing chromebook there you go ninja you can see by stuff and cast option it has radio fm uh, computer sync ota sync tethering and volte support Let's, ma let's move now to test, uh, probably, I did I forget to test maybe the speakers? Let's do it. Okay, Max Volume, YouTube. The speaker is on the back, Ninjas. Yeah. Omar Hisham and Arabi. Okay, so it does get distorted at the maximum volume. There you go, here's the con. Even at 70%, bro. You have to put it at 50% not to hear that distort distortion. Distortion? Yeah, distortion. Sound distortion. Again, max volume. Fortunately, this is a con. This is a con, and I didn't yet put it even in the water. Remember, after putting it in the water, you'll have to dry the speakers and all the, I don't know, all the sound. I mean, all the ports are closed except the speaker. So you will have to dry your speaker down. So from 1 to 10, I'm giving it 5 scoring, just below average. This is really, I don't know, for me, again, rugged smartphones. So far, only AGM brand had amazing speakers, but every other rugged smartphone that I tested always had average or under average speakers. Probably because they have this waterproofed filter there.
Just checking out here the headphones. There is a single 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Whoa, that is fat. That is loud. Yeah, completely satisfied from 1 to 10. I'm giving it 8 score in jazz. The output, uh, volume output from the 3.5mm headphone jack is admirable. Okay, let's test here the microphone, uh, the loudness and the quality. I just recorded something. Oh, it saved successfully. The microphone check, Elephone Soldier. That not is 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two. This is the mic check, mic check. One, two, three, four. My name is Mohammed. Away, my mouth. It is. Okay, from Ninjas uh, again for the rugged smartphone. This is again average score from one to ten. Five, uh, probably because this uh, the microphone is just hidden here. Let me just show you right now. See, the microphone is just hidden over down there. There is a small tiny hole. I don't know why they even put it there. Let me just show you right now. I'm gonna open it. Check it out. So it has like a special filter or so. So it's not like a standard uh, microphone quality. I mean it. I mean, it is $190, you can't expect to have a level of Samsung of for $800 with the waterproof uh, features or something like that. So again, you get what you paid for. Unfortunately, this is not anything impressive or to praise about. Just a low average, even below average uh, loudness of the microphone. You saw it. You heard it. Okay, so let's test uh, the fingerprint sensor. Remember that this device has a fingerprint sensor on the back. By the way, check these wallpapers, epic wallpapers uh, for this device, I have to admit. Let's choose this one. On screen uh, is it uh, done yeah that's it anyway let's check it out so let's close it it's on the side So Ninjas, you have to admit that is super fast. So they did polish the software regarding the screen wake up time, one of the best. Uh, I have to admit sometimes, I think it's even faster than, yeah, nothing, I'm sure that it is faster than even the Xiaomi sensors, Xiaomi optimization. Absolutely insane speed. Good job, Elephant, for this one. Yeah, battery life. Indeed a beast, uh, 13 uh, millimeter thick, and um, um, of course indeed it does have a thick battery inside of it. 5000, a massive, massive, massive battery capacity, easily the, uh, two days of use for the screen on time for the gaming. You're gonna have a separate video for that one, so please make sure to check it out. I'm gonna try to squeeze uh, to kill this battery as much as I can. Uh, but anyway, fast charging support, like I showed you, 9 volts equal 2 amperes uh, included in the box there. And this is, of course, non-removable battery. If something happens, you will have to take it to the surface. Uh, uh, of course, you, unless you are really a geek, so you can uh, you know to, to change the battery by itself. Again, uh, for the price here, this is really absolutely great. The battery life belongs in the top 5 best things about this device. 5000 mAh battery for the 2 days of use. Okay, so this is for the selfie video camera test, uh, full HD, highest max resolution, and also I enabled the EIS. 360 degrees. Nice, really a good screen. No, you kill me now. I kill you too. Calm down, mate. Move your ass. They are good gaming devices, but they cost uh, $60 more. So far, that I saw a good rugged smartphone is $250 with the Helio P60. You can run on time. What you want? What you want, bro? I'm trying to be weird, but did you just skinny doofus?
Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicky chicky ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!